This video is going to show you the basics of using the 3D Revolve tool in an Autodesk Inventor. Uh, the Revolve tool allows you to take a closed profile and revolve it around an axis to end up with a 3D geometry. So for example, I've got a closed profile here that I'm going to revolve around this axis and it's going to get me a little uh, uh, a cup. So I select my revolve tool. Since I've only got one closed profile in the drawing, it selects it for me automatically. All it wants me to do is to choose the axis. So I choose this one since it is along my center line and it gives me this little preview. So I click OK and I'm left with my cup. You can use the Revolve tool uh, in a slightly different way too. Uh, I've got this part here that's that's finished, it's a little Phillips head driver bit, and what I want is to take this hex shape and I want to make these, uh, these rounded parts in it. So I've got one going that's not quite done yet, and I've already made the sketches that I'm going to revolve. I just need to select the Revolve tool, and I'm going to pick both of these sketches as my profiles, and then I select this midline as my axis. Now, by default, it tries to join material. It tries to make these big donut shapes on the bottom of the driver bit. So I need to select this little option here and switch from Join to Cut, and so those little donut swipes that it's making um, just became cutaway swipes instead of a place where it's adding material. So uh, the preview looks good to me, I check that, and so I've carved out the pieces from the hex stock that give me those profiles down below. I use the same strategy to get this top piece to be the shape that I wanted, except instead of a simple uh, circular sketch, I use this kind of hard line one here. I revolve that around the midline just the same way, and it gave me this uh, angular profile of the driver bit up here. So two pretty neat things that you can do with the uh, revolve tool and fairly simple tool to use, so I like using it.